So now we're going to talk about mind mapping. Mind mapping is such a great tool. I used to be an outliner, you know, one, two, three, and I would, was constantly having to redo that. Mind mapping gets you out of your linear thinking and allows you to be more creative in what needs to show up for you, right? What needs to be revealed of what it is you're really looking for. And we're going to mind map about new purpose, your new purpose. So here's how you do a mind map. You write what it is you're mind mapping. So this is new purpose. Okay, and you put a circle around it. Okay, now this again is don't try and figure this out. And you're gonna ask yourself, what is my new purpose? What it, what would it look like? So you may say it looks like freedom, um, which means not having not having to work, not working. A day job, let's put it that way. Suppose maybe you have a job you don't like. You don't have to work a day job, right? But freedom would also mean financial um, freedom so that you can be free to do, do things you love, right? Um, so what happens is as you're defining what your purpose is, you're going to come up with key words, right? What else would you want your purpose to be? Well, I, I, would, I want my purpose to be fun, right? And what are the things that are fun? For me, it's travel all over um, with, with family and friends. And I want to have a my work be fun, right? So my work or business, right, be fun. So part of that is connected to travel. I want to be able to travel for my job because it's fun and work with people. Okay, you see what I'm getting at? Another part of your new purpose, um, if it's you're free and you're fun, maybe you want to experience happiness if you haven't for a while, right? And what brings you happiness? So you, get, you would answer those questions and again, come off of the, that scope. And then like you saw just here, the travel, sometimes these spokes are connected. You can see when you, when you zoom out after you've got more spokes and more bubbles that, oh, that goes with this and this goes with that until your new purpose is, kind, is defined actually. And then what I do with this is I write it in then a linear form so that under freedom, I put, I list these things under fun. I list these things under happiness. I list those things, all that stuff. But the main point about mind mapping about your purpose is to come up with at least three to four. So you want to come up with three to four key words that are, um, what I call, uh, spirit led. So you want to be able to be happy, which may mean that you love yourself. That was a big one for me. Um, so, so then really happiness is love, right? Whether it's yourself or a new spouse or loving your family more, that kind of a thing. So three to four key words that come off of your new purpose as you mind map and hopefully that'll help you figure out where you're going next.